Today we are going to solve chapter number 7 from the book of investment analysis and portfolio management. As you have seen, uh, we have computed two chapters from that particular book, chapter number 1 and chapter number 2. But today we are going to compute chapter number 7 because one of the students uh, named Daniel who has been uh, requesting me to solve this chapter as early as possible. He has been eagerly waiting to see this chapter. So that's why we are going to solve this chapter. So now, as you can see in the question number one, we will solve this question. Then on after another, we will solve all the questions, all the problems from this chapter. So let's get started right now. Now, if we consider the question number one, then we will find that there we have been given returns and the probabilities. So the requirement is to find out expected rate of return. So we will find out the expected rate of return using a specific formula. So now we will write the equation, then we will input the value into the equation to find out expected rate of return. So we will see problem number one and we know expected rate of return which is denoted by ERI equal summation RI into PI where N I equal 1 2 uh, it means the number of returns and number of probabilities for nth period so we will write the explanation of these components of the uh, equation so we will write where ri means rate of return of stock i or any stock on the other hand pi is the probability of stock i so this is what actually the equation or formula we have to consider to find out expected rate of return now we will just input the value to get the expected rate of return so we will write equal minus 0.2 into 0.1 that means the return into probability and this return and probability given in the question plus minus 0.05 into 0.15 as probability and then plus 0.1 into 0.2 plus 0.15 into 0.25 plus 0.2 into probability 0.2 plus and finally we have here the return is 0.4 into probability is 0.1 equal now we have to just uh, compute using our calculator to get the expected rate of return we have to uh, multiply 0.2 i mean return and with uh, probability uh, each of the return and each of the probability we have to multiply then we will get a specific result uh, uh, similarly we have to do for all of these values then we will uh, sum the value then we will get expected rate of return so you will do that uh, on your calculator or using your calculator now we will get the result if we compute these uh, values then we will get 0 0.11 it means if we multiply uh, 0.11 with 100 as we have to just consider the rate of return this is why we have to multiply with 100 so it is 11 percent so very easily we can compute expected rate of return if we have been given rate of return and their probabilities so i hope you have come to understand how to find out the expected rate of return i hope you can see right now the question number two so we will solve this question and this particular question we have been given uh, some of the stocks value and their expected rate of return and we have been asked to find out the portfolio return so if you want to uh, find out the portfolio return then you need to have the uh, expected rate of return and weight 
So in this case, uh, we have not given any weights. So we have to find out weight first. Then we will be able to compute the portfolio return. As the equation, we will see uh, there are two components we will require to find out the portfolio return. One is uh, expected rate of return, which is given. But uh, we have to also have the uh, weights, but that is not given. So before going to solve the problem or uh, input the value into the equation, uh, we have to find out the weight first. So let's see what's the equation first, then we will uh, find out the weight and input the value into the equation to get the portfolio expected return or expected portfolio return. So we will write problem number two. So as we know, expected rate of portfolio return and which is denoted by ERP where we will write summation RI into WI and we have to consider here the meaning of the components of the equation we will write where Ri is the similar to the previous calculation as you have come to understand which is rate of return of stock i or any stock on the other hand here wi indicates weight of stock i so here we have to understand how to find out the weight there is a specific formula so i will show you that particular formula so that you can uh, easily compute the weight so we will write weight w i equal we'll write amount of individual source of capital divided by total or sum of capital so this is the way how we have to compute the weight so using this equation we have to find out first the weight because we have not given here the weight as i mentioned again and again so let us just calculate the weight first so this is why we will draw a table to find out the weight so as you will be able to see here the table where we will write the name of the stocks and the value of the stocks and calculation and finally we will get the weight so here we have just four columns we will write the stock their value and here we will calculate calculation and finally we will get weight which is we will write wy so in this particular uh, calculation or question we have been given uh, the sum of the stocks so we will write the name of the stocks so here first stock is morgan stanley so we'll write stanley and the value of the morgan stanley is dollar 15000 so we'll write dollar 15000 on the other hand second stock is Starbucks so we will write a Starbucks so the value of a Starbucks is 17,000 and next stock is General Electric so the value of General Electric 32,000 and the next stock is Intel so we will write Intel and here we have 23,000 so we'll write 23,000 as the value of the stock Intel so last stock of this particular problem is Walgreens so we'll write Walgreens and the value of Walgreens is 7,000 so we'll write 7,000 now as I have told you we have to uh, sum up the all values of the stocks as you can see here total capital so we have to sum the value here and we can write here total 
total value so in this column we will get the value of these all stocks as a sum and as a sum the value will be 94,000 if you compute then you will get also the 94,000 and now we have to calculate as I mentioned to you we have to divide individual amount of stock divided by total amount of uh, stocks so we will just show here calculation 15,000 divided by 94,000 on the other hand uh, second stock is 17,000 divided by similarly 94,000 I mean total amount of capital and third stock 32,000 divided by 94,000 and in this way we have 23,000 divided by 94,000 and finally we have 7,000 divided by 94,000 so in this case we will get first weight of the stock Morgan Stanley 0.16 then Starbucks the weight is 0.18 and next we will get 0.34 and for Intel it is 0.24 as weight and finally we have Walgreens and the weight of Walgreens is 0.08 so now we can close the table so it is the calculation of weight so first we have to uh, compute uh, the weights and if you want then you can uh, also find out the portfolio return using the table it is called a tabular method but we are going to use the uh, equation uh, so this is why we have to find out just this table uh, of the weights and now we will input the uh, information or value uh, which is given as expected rate of return and we have computed weights uh, to show in that particular equation to get the portfolio expected rate of return so we will input the value we'll write equal so first return of the problem is given we have here 0.14 and we have to multiply it by weight where weight is 0.16 plus minus 0.04 and the weight is 0.18 plus 0.18 is the return and the weight we have here uh, 0.34 and next we will write plus 0.16 and it will be multiplied by 0.24 plus we have 0.05 as the return and final weight is 0.08 as you can see in the table so this is what we have to just input the value into the equation now we have to compute uh, using our calculator so we will write here so here we will get 0.1188 and we have to show the rate of return this is why we have to just multiply it by 100 and we will get then 11.80 percent so you have come to understand uh, how we have to find out the uh, portfolio return uh, using this equation and uh, before going to uh, input the value into the equation we have to find out this uh, weight and one thing you have to keep in your mind that uh, if we consider uh, on that particular weight we have to always remember uh, weight will be always equal to 1 so if you sum of these values then you will get 1 it means the 100 percent capital uh, I mean 94,000 and you have just uh, considered their individual amount of capital so I hope you have come to understand how to find out the expected rate of portfolio return